The best testimonial is how we live our lives. Everyone can read our actions and our deeds. The MTN Heroes of Change is celebrating the actions and good deeds of these selfless individuals who brighten lives of people across Ghana in many communities. Now, let's watch and celebrate one of MTN Foundation projects that is brightening lives across Ghana. Over the past decade, the MTN Ghana Foundation has led the way in corporate social investments in Ghana by impacting the lives of over 4 million people in the areas of education, health and economic empowerment across the country. The MTN Ghana Foundation has spent about 13 million US dollars on over 145 various social development initiatives, brightening lives and making a difference. Growing up in quite deprived areas, in the areas of Newtown, Kutubabi, fending for oneself was a difficulty, but I was looking for ways by which I can be able to do better for myself and also for my family. I decided to venture into IT when I came in contact with somebody who taught me how to use computers. I started the business from my father's single room with a friend, and we were just to be, we didn't even have call cards. So we write our numbers on papers, go to events and try and find people, convince them that we can deliver the best of IT service that will push their businesses. Really the love started when I was in college. Um, I was a computer science uh, student and, um, and I was re really fascinated about how I mean computers work and I mean the fact that uh, computers could be used to do amazing things like uh, design machines and for me the love for uh, seeing hardware and software, I mean, interfacing, talking together, um, it makes the whole experience uh, unique and that really inspired me uh, to get into that field. The Ghana Multimedia Incubator Centre is the innovation unit of NETA. We develop young people's dreams, ICT dreams and actually concepts and ideas that are quite innovative uh, that are worth supporting to develop into businesses, viable businesses. We actually train young people and develop them into entrepreneurs and build businesses out of their ideas and concepts. There was a need for us to go out there and look for, for private support. However, we realized that MTM Foundation has part of their foundation, the program, some of the projects they support, we know that they have something for economic empowerment. And so we came into partnership with them. They decided that they were going to support this incubator. Came into the Ghana Multimedia Incubator Center. The program really seeks to introduce children to uh, computational thinking skill. Of course, that is very, I mean, crucial when it comes to, I mean, designing such uh, skills. So we, we want the children to have the expertise. We want them to have the exposure early enough. I started learning robotics at six years old. I learned how to um, program LEDs on the breadboard. I also learned how to attach a buzzer to a breadboard to make different sounds. Robots are um, like human beings, but not really human beings, that make your work easier. My advice to young people who want to start a business in the IT space is that do not fret, do not let your dreams scare you. Um, once you've been able to dream it, it means you can achieve it. What you have to do is take the bold step of beginning. So I'd like to use this opportunity to thank MTN Foundation. And I just want to say a big thank you for what they are doing for Ghana and then what they have particularly done for the Ghana Multimedia Incubator Center. We are very, very grateful. One of the greatest things about economic empowerment is not just to share and give what you have, but to help people discover what they have within themselves. Here's the story of Justin Yilevia Bayere. I have known Justin for past two years. With his level of education, a lot of people would have thought that he would be in the office, but he decided to work with waste, which we call Bola. He's making great strides by transforming them into uh, consumables like petrol, diesel, and other things. I think this makes him unique and stand tall among his peers.
I saw a lot of litter in the form of plastic outside. But the way to handle it was my problem. If I collect it, where am I sending it to? And the collection tool is not easy. It involves money. When I first completed Wa Polytechnic, my life was not something that I could write home about. I was always going about, doing a lot of things, but nothing to send home. So at times, even how to feed my family and whatsoever was a problem, and I have mother too. As a young boy, I used to think about the plastic situations in my community. I couldn't just drink water and throw the touch it away. I used to put them in my bag or my pocket. So my friends used to say, um, why do you do that? As I began uh, maturing up, I was doing a bit of research about plastic waste. Finally, I was uh, able to produce the fuel uh, components like the gasoline, diesel, uh, grease, kerosene, and synthetic gas. On one occasion, I heard someone could turn plastic into fuel. So I inquired and actually suffered for some weeks before I got to him at Senate Flat. I invited him to my office and he told me what he could do. When he told me of it and we started collecting it, it got to a time self there was no single such water lying within Wa. With this alone, I have got about six workers here. I pay them out of this waste. Meeting him is something that has brought me a lot of joy. I'm able to send something back home to cater for the family. The time we was growing up, this thing was baller. But now, there are something that you can gather and sell and get money for yourself. The product is also given to people to use. For example, the kerosene is being given to school children without a source of uh, light or electricity to use for reading. Those days, one could see the whole area very filthy. Now it is somehow beautiful. No wonder that some time ago, it was one of the cleanest cities in Ghana. One memorable story from this project is when I took the grease from the plastics to mechanics for sampling and I later went to them for feedback and they told me it was very good and they wanted more. Then I told them it was produced here in Ghana from plastic waste. They didn't believe. Some of them have to follow up to see the production process before they could believe it was true. At one congregation, we set up a generator and we used the fuel and it worked perfect. So I said, ah, if you can do this, why can't we come together and see how we can uh, uh, make something out of it? It was there he was telling me that there is no money and then there are a lot of challenges. Production of uh, petroleum products is expensive. I have solely funded these projects with help from friends and family. In 2016, UNDP came in to support us. In spite of the numerous challenges, the product has been tested by the Standard Authority through Kumasi Technical University and given approval. The future of this project is bright because we will be dividing the country into three zones. The coastal zone, the middle zone and the northern zone. And each of these zones we will uh, build a 25 ton capacity reactor. In doing that, we will make Ghana clean and the stakeholders economically empowered. Watch the MTN Heroes of Change television series showing on this TV station and on our social media platforms. MTN Heroes of Change, be the change you wish to see.
We day for you everywhere you go.